So I'm down here at Middle Brighton to show you how to catch some fish. Um, I come down here a fair bit and I've caught a fair few fish down here so I just thought I'd share a bit of a how-to on how to catch fish down here. Um, Brighton is quite good, you can drive here, walk here or, or ride here. There's a public toilet also which is at the front of the pier. Just be aware that there is paid parking here, it does get quite expensive. Uh, it's a four hour zone but I think it's like $5.90 an hour um, so it does get pretty expensive if you, if you are driving pop into one of the side streets because there is unrestricted parking in some of the side streets and you'll save yourself a fair bit of money um, so today I'll be showing you how to catch fish on the soft plastics not with bait um, so I'll just, I'll just make that clear it's about soft plastic fishing and what you'll need to catch fish with soft plastics around here is a two to four kilo rod that is set up for soft plastics um, I've got a one to three kilo rod here with me today um, so you can also use something that light just depends on how much fun you want to have um, you got to pair that up with some light braid and some light leader and I've got another video which I'll link in the description down the bottom of what lures to use as well um, so that's there for you so anyway take a look let me know what you think so the rod I'll be using today is a Shakespeare slingshot which is a one to three kilo light spin rod. Uh, and I've got it teamed up with a paddle tail there. I've got seven pound braid and I've got 10 pound leader on today. And this is paired up with a Sienna 2500 FE reel. So along the first section here and along there, I probably wouldn't start fishing until this little platform. Um, simply because it's, it's really shallow and I haven't really caught too much prior before that and what you're doing along here is because there's not too much structure on either side it's sort of patched weed as far as you can cast with soft plastics what you're doing is you're moving probably five or six meters and you're fanning out the casts again um, to try and find the odd fish that might be out in here in the warmer months they will be out cruising around here on the outgoing tide I generally like fishing Brighton in an outgoing tide for flathead and incoming for pinkies. Um, so this jetty park goes all the way up there and then it curves around. Then you've got the jetty transitioning into the rock wall. So there's a nice drop off that goes along this part here. Sometimes on low tide I'll go down there and I'll basically walk on the sand and go one to two meters apart do the fanning three casts and then keep going then I'll jump up on the rock wall and work my way down now I have picked up a couple of decent flathead in here and I've picked up a few pinkies along just this bit here as well and you need to be casting out and then bringing it back in there isn't like I said before there is that nice drop off there so if you work that might be easy to pick up a flat edge just in this area while you are walking up to the rock wall. So about halfway down the rock wall, you have this building here and you've got the corner. Now, this is the exception to pretty much the, the rest of the rock wall. There is some snags and rocks that are a bit further out that you do get hooked up on. So you just need to be careful on this corner when you're casting out that you're not getting hooked on these these rocks that are out there you can't you can't necessarily see them they're out and a bit deep i'm guessing they're rocks but yeah you get snagged uh, i think it's about there so if you are fishing the area you need to make sure that you're bringing your your lure up before the, before there basically and this is a nice little flatty yeah Nice little platy to start the morning. And off we go. And the rock wall, which is up near the end. So when I'm down at the rock wall, normally I head straight to the end here. And same as before, move along the rocks, being careful you don't slip down and going on the, the flat surface rocks as much as you can and you're casting out in a fan direction normally three or four casts out in a fan direction as far as you can go out on the end out in those directions 
and then wind them in, pop in the plastic along the bottom like I've shown you in other videos. And one thing you've got to be careful of in the inside along the rocks here is that you bring in the lure up before it gets snagged on all the rocks. Because the rocks go out and then it drops down and then it goes out like that. So you're making sure you're bringing up the lure probably about that far out and then bringing it up. So what you're doing when you are going along the rock wall is you're walking along and you're casting out towards the boats. Now be careful you're not hitting these boats because I'm pretty sure they won't be too happy if you do hit them. Um, but you are casting as close as you can to them and the pylons and you're letting it sink all the way to the bottom. Then you're popping it all the way back and just making sure you're bringing it up before it hits these rocks and gets snagged. Now there's what I call as no man's land, which is the space between the docks. Um, I don't normally concentrate too much in there. I normally go from the rocks that are in front of it, cast out to the boat or the pylons, and then if there's nothing there, I'll move on to the next one. So I'd go from here to about there, and you're casting out and bringing it back in. Don't really cast in the same location more than once, because then you're missing out on covering more area and locating where the fish are. Sometimes I do fish on the outside and cast out. It's all dependent on the wind. Because um, if, obviously if the wind's blowing too far in this way, it's a bit hard to cast out. You're not really going to get the action in the lure or be able to see if there's any bites. But you can head out when the weather is nice and the wind's not blowing too hard and casting out along here because you do pick flat flathead and pinkies up there as well. Um, so I pick up most of my pinkies here on the end casting out or in this section here. I have picked up a couple of pinkies along here but they're just not in their numbers as they are at the end. Normally your flathead are in along this area and you also pick up pike and small salmon I guess and things like that. Um, yeah, so that's probably a prime example of the the rock fishing platform sort of rocks you want to stand on. Uh, it's nice and flat, um, so you're not going to slip over as such and fall in the water like I did in one of my other videos. <coughs> but, you know, that's the sort of rocks you do get along the area where you can stand on. Oh, might, might be a pinky. Away from the rocks, buddy. Oh no, that's a nice flathead. There we go. Bit more fun on this lighter one to three kilo rod as well. Nice flatty out of Brighton uh, with the paddle tail. It's quite good. That's the sort of fish you catch down here at Brighton. It's soft plastic, just put in on the bottom on the inside of the rock wall towards the boat. Nice fish. Oh, let him go. Pretty happy with that. Oh well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and it gave you some useful information. I'm not a professional or anything, I just go out there and have fun. Uh, so if you want to see videos about anything else or you've got ideas about what you want to see, chuck a comment below, send me a like and don't forget to subscribe. Cheers.